Hi, I'm Glenn. And I'm Mark. And welcome to Masonic Unity, The Right Stuff. Mark, we are in front of our ballot box exhibit in our Museum of Masonic Culture at 100 Barrick Street, Trenton, New Jersey. Conveniently located right above Grand Lodge. There we go. Uh, I see, you know, we're here at the ballot box. So my application has been read. They've met with me. They've met with my family. They checked out my references. Mm -hmm. Then what? Well, the, uh, the Lodge needs to vote on you as a candidate. So they just raise their hands and that's it? Uh, they, they could, but in, in these situations they would use a ballot box. They would, okay. they would use a secret ballot. And so we have an exhibit which, uh, which highlights the ballot boxes and the way we vote in, uh, in Freemasonry. And actually this is, voting by secret ballot goes back millennia. Back to China, back to the Middle Ages. Um, when it was first implemented, uh, they would use uh, different kinds of beans. Okay. They would use, actually, we have a ballot box here which has white and black beans. And a white bean would mean a positive vote, and a black bean would mean a negative vote. Okay. Uh, after a while, uh, they started to change the ballot so that it was. It was uh, um, balls and cubes, so that if you're voting when it's dark, you can feel the difference. You don't have to work. Uh, you don't have to worry about sight. And that would be a black cube. That would be a black cube. And a non-masonic marble. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. White ball. exactly. Good. So actually, that's where uh, prior to using cubes, they would use black and white balls, and that's where the black ball terminology comes from. Okay. Okay. But back in present day, uh, we, we do a secret ballot using a ballot box. And that's regarding our right to decide who we wish to assemble with or gather together. Exactly. Exactly. A secret ballot can be used in a variety of different applications, but primarily it's for uh, voting on new candidates, voting on uh, new applications to the lot. Okay. So, uh, a lot of these ballot boxes are along the same principle. Uh, the candidate would put their ballot into a hole into the ballot box, and then we could see uh, either in a drawer or in a, uh, in a special area of the ballot box what the result is. And in most cases, if you've got 25 members there, all members of this lodge must vote. Exactly. So there ought to be 25 white balls, cubes, or some exactly. uh, difference between that. Exactly. It's our obligation as Masons to vote. Makes sense. One of our special ballots uh, at ballot boxes here is what we call a chal chalice ballot box. I love it. Exactly. So uh, this ballot box is actually held by the senior deacon, um, and it is, it is not inconsequential it is not light uh, but it is a real showpiece in uh, in all of our balloting uh, there's a yep there is a, a tube in the inside which the ball goes down into the chamber in the bottom so we have one chalice uh, ballot box and we've had several um, several brethren who have uh, wished to own this chalice but <laughs> it's staying here That's especially to you Craig so, we thank you for joining us for a uh, little we'll talk about Ballot Box. And we've got plenty more, and to see plenty more of our videos on our exhibits and our interviews, uh, please subscribe down below and give us a like. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you soon. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.